Welcome back everybody to Max's Garage Mahal and guess what we've got a new shipment from Good Life a friend of ours and they shipped us some new batteries and as you know Trine A from Good Life and Bizway manufactures replacement lithium ion batteries and um, she so far the the Batteries we've received have been excellent batteries, and, and if you've watched the reviews, you know I've abused them pretty well. So I've already opened this just to see what's in the package. And, of course, we have the requisite air bubble to keep things from flopping around here. And let's see here. What we're particularly interested in today, let me get this out of the way here, is we're going to be looking for that right there. And that's the 18 volt Milwaukee replacement battery. And that is a 5 milliamp or amp hour. And I believe it's a 90 watt hour. And when we get it open, we'll make sure that we, we find out for sure. But uh, it, it is a 5 amp hour. And I misprinted this. That is a 90 watt hour replacement lithium ion battery from Milwaukee. And this is their M. Bizway's M18XC to replace the uh, 5 amp hour for the Milwaukee. Also, there is the she shipped a battery charger for that particular battery and it charges the 12 volt, 14 volt, and 18 volt Milwaukee and her replacement batteries. So we're going to get in here and take a look and show you what we've got here in the box. So let me zoom back out here and figure out where we're at. You know, I'm not a very good actor. Worst part is I'm a worst cameraman. So let's see what we have here. And the first one out of the box is, by the way, Good Life always really packs their, uh, their batteries and their products very, very carefully and very well. And these, this was shipped to us and it was fulfilled by Amazon. And uh, this is the Bizway battery that we're looking for right here. No, I'm sorry. I lied. This is their rigid. This is a rigid 18 volt. By golly. So we, we do have one of those in the box. And we will do testing reviews on that in the future. So let's put that back in here temporarily, and let's uh, let's look for that 18 volt. So it's just a little tease, I guess. <laughs> let's see what else we have here. Hmm. Well, looky here. We've got a pair of 12 volt M12 type, and I think the Bizway calls theirs N12. And let's see here. This is a 4811-2401. All right, let's zoom in a little bit and see if I can get that to clear up. Get it on me. There we go. There you are, 4811-2401 Bizway. And this is the 12 volt replacement for the 12 volt Milwaukee batteries. So we have a pair of those. This is a two-pack. Two-pack for sure. <laughs> That's neat. So we will do video uh, test reviews on those as well. Another tease. Let's see what's in this little box. Ah, another baby battery. So look here. Let's see what we got here. This is a Bizway. Lithium ion, 12 volt, 2 amp hour, 24 watt hour, and this appears to be for Dewalt. So let's see if we can get on this and get you some numbers here. There you go. And again, packaged very, very well, very tight, uh, lots of bubble wrap. And I mean, these things 
they do a really nice job on this packing. So I know this is very boring doing all this unboxing crap, but I know that you also like to see what we get in these boxes. This is bound to be what we're looking for right here. The unhandled box looks like. Alright, here we go. So, this, haha, <laughs> look here. This happens to be just what we're looking for. This is their Come in here on it. This is a 4811 1850 is the Bisway number for the Milwaukee M18 battery that uh, this replaces. This is a 5 amp hour, 90 watt hour. And as you see, again, over here, I messed that up. That's my fault. I didn't notice that was the way it's printed, so I just went with it. And I should have read it a little more closely. So we're going to leave that out because we're going to be interested in that. Let's put this back in here and there's one more thing in the box. Let's get it out and make sure that's what we're looking for here. And we're going to go ahead and put these back in the box so that we can get to these later. Put these down here out of the way along with the air pack and then we'll be all set up and Give you an idea of what we're trying to do here in a minute. So, let's do this right here. Get this out. Again, very well packaged. And this happens to be... Well, I like that. I do like that. I'll tell you what I like about that in just a moment. As always, inside the box also is their uh, instructions and warnings and disclaimers and all that sort of thing. So here we go, we have the battery charger and the battery right there that goes with that right up over there and I'll get you in there a little closer and make sure you can read that. Alright, so there is the charger And as I said just a moment ago, what I really like about this charger so far is it has, let me move over here so you can see the, there's the battery right up. So let me zoom back out. And what I like about this particular charger so far is that it's got a detachable cord and it's the same cord this fits a lot of other equipment out there so if you mess up your cord you can use a cord for something else or but anyway it's this little dual head plug here let's open that thing up we're going to start this thing out here a little bit anyway so we're going to test it and trying to you know i'm always going to test your products pretty hard and I'm not going to cut you any slack, even though you're a nice young lady. But let's plug this thing in. And um, tell you what. Let's plug this into the wall. Alrighty. That's done. And let's see how many... How much charge this thing has got in it from the factory? It has three lights, which tells us that it comes in the um, shipping mode. It doesn't come fully charged, and that way they're they're less likely to have a problem. Okay, so that is. Oh, and by the way, Trine, we're going to take a brand spanking new. Milwaukee brand battery charger and we're going to set it right here beside your battery charger and we're going to do a comparison on these things and the reason for that is I just happen to have a really good and this is untested I've got two of these I've never used this one so uh, we're going to make sure that your battery charges just fine in 
the Milwaukee brand, the branded charger, and let's turn this thing around here. Boy, I don't like that. That's real finicky. Let's try it in yours. There we go. Now that's got a good fit, good tight fit. Start charging right away. Tell you what, hang on a minute, be right back. I'm gonna run and grab the impact wrench with the battery that I'm gonna test against yours and compare with yours. And we will uh, make sure that everything's doing like it ought to be doing and be right back. All right, here we are back again. As you can see, I brought in the Milwaukee, well-worn Milwaukee <laughs> with the uh, M18 battery in it. And this is a four amp hour. Set this over out of the way. And let's try it in the Milwaukee brand. Well, it's not your battery, try and aim. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're going to charge my battery in the Bizway charger. And then, it's got a good snug fit. Well, it's a stinking charger. It's not the battery. The thing's real finicky. That's two of these things. I, I replaced the first one with this one, and I just plugged in and found that it's doing the same thing the original. No, it's really finicky. Real, see, real touchy. Milwaukee, I'm going to give you a fail on your tester or on your charger. Okay, so they're both charging, and we're going to let these things charge overnight or, or rest of the day. I'll come back and check it. It's, it's late in the day anyway, so uh, I will um, I will come back and check these things before we go to bed. And if they're not charged yet, we'll let them finish up, and we'll come back in the morning and, and check, see where they're at. Then we're going to put some um, discharge on your battery. By the way, one thing I do like about, um, I don't like this battery charger. I, one thing I don't like about that is that I don't like that battery charger. Um, one thing I like about this battery here, it does have a rubber overmold to keep things from slipping around like a tool. And that's the one that belongs to me. This one right here belongs to Bizway, and it does not have that. So Bizway, I'm going to say that I would recommend that you do, and you do this on your um, on your Ralby brand. You've got a rubber overmold. I really like that. I gave you a lot of credit for that, and I'm going to say that. I would like to see you put the rubber overmold on this as well and it would sure make it a lot better so that when a tool is sitting on a slick surface that's slightly inclined it wouldn't slide off as easily and that's one thing I really like about that battery uh, and I don't have any complaints with this battery other than when it's fully charged this battery here does not have it'll never have four lights on it it'll, it'll never be fully charged as far as the lights go. It'll be fully charged. It just won't be fully charged with four lights showing. So we're going to find out with this Bizway when it's fully charged will it have four lights. So so far that's where we're at. We'll come back and let you know how things are going and uh, stay tuned. We'll, uh, we'll bring you up to date just as soon as the batteries are charged. Well we're back again. It's next morning. Well, it's really late in the morning. It's like 11 a.m. Had a lot of things to do. I didn't make up those signs yesterday. I, I was such a big hurry to get this information to you. I didn't get you this stuff right here so that you can see what we're talking about. And let's zero in first on the battery charger. See if you can read all of that. All right, and it is a Bizway battery charger, 48-59-1812. And they work for 12 volt through 18 volt batteries. It's supposed to work on 12 volt, the M12, M14, and the M18 
lithium ion batteries. And I assume that we'll, I don't have any of the NICAD or nickel metal hydride to try, so I can't verify that they don't work on those. But, as you can see this morning, let me get back out here. Tell you what, let's go ahead and take a look at this documentation right here. And this is the Bizway 18 volt, 5 amp hour, 90 watt hour. Um, and I put this in wrong, it should say WH, and I apologize. So here's the battery. Here's the charger. We've got my battery on her charger, her battery on the Milwaukee charger, and this thing is really finicky, by the way. You touch it and it quits charging. So it's, uh, and I think all that is 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 the pins probably are not wide enough. So I give the Milwaukee charger a fail. I can tell you right now. <laughs> anyway, let me get over here and show you what I just did to the. Uh, chargers and both green lights were on just a moment ago you probably heard me pecking on it and uh, I basically turned the light out you see how finicky this thing is and it doesn't matter which battery you put on it stay this battery actually the uh, Bizway battery actually works on this charger better. Look at that. It's got a lot better connection. And I think part of that probably may be the pins are tighter in here, the little clamps. So I don't know. Um, so here's the thing. This is really finicky on this Milwaukee. So I'm going to go back and say this again. Milwaukee, I'll give you a fail on your charger. Uh, I've got two of those and they're both real finicky like that. So um, here we go. The uh, both chargers seem to work just fine. So let's look at the let's look at the lights here. And uh, probably in a way where you can't really see it. You have all four. So it shows to be fully charged. Now what we're going to do, let's check this one too, because I used her charger to test this one. If I can get my finger in the way. Alright. Well this one never does show the fourth light, so I'm going to test this with a uh, with a tester here in a minute. And I'll see if I can get that hooked up for you. So we're going to put a tester on them. And then to see if they're the same charge rate and level and all that. Then we're going to put it on our computerized charger that will discharge. And I'm going to discharge these puppies and see if they are discharged to the same depth and rate. And then we're going to freeze them. Bring them back out here and we're going to charge these puppies up again. <laughs> and I think I'll do the same thing. I think I'll put... Uh, my battery on Bizway's charger and the Bizway battery on the Milwaukee charger and this is a good looking battery guys I mean this thing looks really nice and it really is easy to read it's got real good heft to it the locks are really really I mean they really grasp those suckers are really tight and um, the, by the way, the slide on this thing is really does a really good job. It fits really well. As, I mean, really well. So that's where we're at right now. I'm going to go ahead and set up the uh, discharge thing, and I'll be back. All righty, we're going to check it and see if it's got a full charge here. And that, I think my battery's near down on both of these machines. You can see it's got 19.87 or something like that volts. You can correct me. I couldn't see it in camera and the same time so anyway you get an idea that it does have a full charge in it now we're going to set this thing up and did I not bring over the clamps I guess I did not okay what we're going to do is we're going to set this little mystery brand and we're not plugging the company it just happens to be the brand balance charger right here 
and we're going to uh, we're going to set this on discharge and that has to be hooked up so I'm going to go get the clamp we'll hook it up and we put a couple of pins in here that we ground to fit into the battery slots really tightly and um, we're going to clamp on each one of these Fizzway, let me make a bit of a critical uh, maybe in a good way something I would like to see you do in the future is put positive negative on the batteries like Milwaukee and these other batteries do. This one has positive negative marked on it right there and you do not so I would like to see you do that and it's just for people that's testing these things or whatever they need to do if they're for some reason they're going to use this for something else and they want to check their uh, their system and naturally they're going to want to know which side is positive and which side is not and in the event they don't have one of these they don't need to be doing that anyway but um, I would like to see you do that I'll be right back okay guys we got this thing set up at two tenths of an amp at 20.52 volts is what it's doing to discharge the battery see if I can get you in here closer there so you can see it a little bit better And so if I can hold it up here where you can see it. All right, it says uh, 0.2 amps, 20.52 volts. And it's discharging at two amps or two tenths of an amp. So this is going to take a while, but there it goes, and um, we will check it and say two hours. We're actually going to check it more often than that. We'll check it and see where it's at in two hours and let you know. thought I maybe should show you the setup as well. Power supply. Haha. <laughs> Power supply through a watt meter. It's taking out 4.1 watts at two tenths to three tenths of an amp. And so far it's already taken out 16 thousandths amp hours. It's getting on with the program. Over here, it's still showing 20.5 volts. Man, I like that. So it's going through the power supply to a watt meter to the battery. To now, all this is right here is this, so I can hook up a whole bunch of batteries at one time, six at one time. We're not going to be doing that help for this. And then it's going through these two alligator clamps. And if you notice the, uh, and I'll show it to you later the positive alligator clamp is surrounded with shrink wrap to make sure that <clears throat> if they touch then of course it won't short out very important and then of course you've got a couple of uh, multimeters over here and something to push the pins in with and of course you always have to have Max's Garage Mahal 25 foot tape at hand so we've got lots of things to do alrighty well this is the second discharge and it just got through so we'll see if I can move down here and zero in for you here see if I can get these numbers for you all right this one timed out at two hours again and at 599 milliamps and actually 644 amp hours, 0.644 amp hours. Um, I don't think you'll be able to see that, but you might. Anyway, I think it's as tight as I can get. No, maybe I can get a little tighter. Okay, here we go. So let's see. There's that one. And. Get out of your light here. I'm going the wrong way again. All right, this one says, if you can see it, 0.647 amperes. Okay, now let's look at the lights here. We still have 
three. Three lights on this thing, and I just checked it with the voltmeter. And I'm going to go ahead and start this thing over again. And uh... okay, there she goes again. And we're going to let that run for another two hours. And uh, see if we can run this sucker down. It's really giving me a hard time, which is a good thing. This is one stout little battery system right here. So, I really hate to even have to go any further, but I'm going to go ahead and give this one a thumbs up. And if I find something different, I want to go ahead and get a third charge on it. And just see, you know, this time it's lasting even longer than the first time. I put uh, six and a half hours of discharge on it this time. It's only got, um, let's see, I did an hour and a half, then two, two hours, that's five and a half hours. And the rate it's going, uh, it seemed to call its breath, and it's, I don't know how long it's going to go. But we're going to find out, so we'll get back to you and let you know. Okay, here we are back, six and a half hours into this uh, discharge, the second discharge. And let's see if we can get the numbers on the camera here. says 62 minutes 51 seconds another 314 amp hours that's milliamps and this one over here says there you go 917 now the first two I lose this I can't keep this on here when this goes off so I've, uh, I've used up a lot of this thing, and let me see if you can see this light. Sucker still got three lights on it. I just tested it just a few moments ago before I turned this back on. This says it still has 18.92 volts. Uh, let's see, the same. And let's see, let's use this tester, it's closest. And let me see if I can get this where you can see it. Uh-oh. Sorry about that. I just screwed up, didn't I? Guess I lost contact there. Yeah, I pulled it out. Oh, crap. Okay, 18.92. 319 total. Here we go again. All right, I guess I got a little carried away trying to... Uh, Give you a give you an update. So let me reset this. We'll just have to remember our numbers. What I'm doing here is I'm pressing these pins I made these test pins in here. Woo! Boy, she works now. It'd be amazing, wouldn't it? <laughs> that's the reason why you don't want to do that, guys. But that's okay, because we'll see if that battery survived this. Alrighty. If it did, it'll surprise the dickens out of me. So, let's see what we got here. Right, looks like it's just fine. Alright, let me see if I can get this tester over here where you can see it. And hold this and do all this at the same time. All right. Now, this is going to be negative right here. This ought to be a good trick, too, by the way. I don't think I can get this where you can see it. I'll put it back over here. Set it up this way. And let's set this up right here. Get something behind it, maybe. We can see it. Stay. As you can see, I don't do this every day. All right. Tell you what we can do. We can put these puppies back on here. 
and test them from the side of that. There's one. There's positive. There we go. All right, now let me see if I can get this where you can see it here. Should be able to drop this in right here. All right. There you go. Still 18.95. That's what we want to see. Trina, you got a tough battery, girl. I ain't kidding you. Good little battery so far. I'm going to say this battery is, is going to make the grade. And if that wasn't enough punishment for it right there, it shorted it out. <laughs> I'd say one thing. It's still sticking right in there. So I'm going to go ahead and restart the discharge on it. By the way, I'm discharging this thing at six tenths of an amp and there she goes and over here that's 1.2 amps so I've really got her turned up now and let's see if I can get this where you can see it all right hopefully you can see that I won't know until I watch this back so there you go so we're gonna go ahead and keep punishing this poor little battery and try to get it where it either gives up the ghost or we'll give it a thumbs up, one or the other. That's what we're after, is find out just how much this thing will go through. It's going through a discharge from the factory. It's going through um, partial run through machinery and then another discharge, our first discharge. Now it's going through the second one. As I said, we'll go so far it's six and a half hours plus a dead short across the positive and negative. That's never a good thing. But it's still kicking, going right along, and even after the dead short, it's still got three lights. Um, it looks good, guys, so we're going to keep on abusing. We'll be back and see if we can find the zero uh, level on it, and then we'll recharge it one more time. Hello, everybody. Once again, still working on this M18 Milwaukee lithium ion XC 5.0 from Bizway still trying to kill it and I have been abusing it pretty hard and it's just refusing to die <laughs> which I think is a pretty good deal actually and it's got I think this is like seven and a half hours now and we have taken out I don't think I can get this where you can see it. I'm going to read it to you. All right. It's down to four tenths, five tenths. Okay, so that's going to fluctuate. I've got it set on six tenths draw to discharge it, which is quite pretty high. And um, it's running around anywhere from five and a half watts to 13 and a half watts trying to discharge the battery, which that's really high. 13 and a half watts is pretty high. The battery is still doing them great. It's not getting the least bit warm, which is another good thing. And uh, I'll tell you what, between the drilling and the impacting, I've been working on something on the um, on Max's Garage Mahal Hustler Raptor SD60 that I'm going to bring to you in a film. So, Trine, I apologize for talking about the old Hustler Raptor here. But um, I know that's one of the things that you were watching at your factory over there. So anyway, there is something new that I'm going to put up. It's a really short little deal just to introduce that new design that I've done. And um, I went ahead and used this battery off and on after it run out. The timer would run out on the discharge or the charger over here. I'd go ahead and pull this off and go use it on the impact wrench. And I really meant to um, record that, but I really needed someone to do it, and I didn't have anyone here to do the recording. So I didn't get that on film for you, but it runs the impact really well. I was able to take some blades off of the deck and put them back on with that quarter inch drill with this battery. So this is a pretty tough battery, and it makes that drill a hoss. And it is an impact drill, so I think you'll... You'll like these batteries if you buy them. I'm going to go ahead and shut this off 
now it's going to have to be recharged because I've been discharging it now for another 60 something minutes so that's uh, that's what I'm telling you is this is a great battery I'm going I'm to show you the get these pins out of here I'm going to bring it up here to the camera and I'm going to try to let that thing focus in and it is a Bizway 48-11-1850 lithium ion and it is a 5 ampere 90 watt hour this sucker is tough I mean it will stay with you so I'm going to go ahead and give this thing thumbs up I'm going to say if you buy this I think you'll be very happy with it and uh, I'm going to go ahead and abuse this some more and if it gives you me any trouble then I'm certainly going to come back and tell you about it but so far it looks like this is a thumbs up I think it'll do you a good job trying to keep up the good work please get the positive negative marked on here get a rubber overcoat over mold on the bottom so it doesn't slide around and that will make your battery stand out ahead anybody else's right there that rubber over mold on this brand because my Milwaukee doesn't have it uh, my other Milwaukee replacement doesn't have it get ahead of them put that on there thank you for stopping by everyone hope you enjoyed the video it's haphazard as it could be uh, but it's the straight up stuff it's just telling you what's going on in the real world here with these things it's none of that take them apart and all that stuff um, I guess I may start doing that on some of the future videos I'm not really sure if we'll do that so many people are already doing it all I want to know when I buy one of these things I want to know how well it works how well it charges how well it you know if it discharges will it come back to life on your charger how's your charger uh, I'm going to give Trinay's brand charger the Bizway charger let me unplug it real quickly and I'm going to hold it up to the camera for you as well. I'm going to give this cam this charger a thumbs up as well. And I like this feature right here. I like that you can remove the cord. And this cord interchanges with a lot of other electronics. And if your cord goes bad, it's real simple to stick another cord in here. That I like. I also like that it hangs just like the rest of the chargers. So this one will probably go on the wall as well. And again, it is a Bizway brand charger, and then it fits N12, N14, N18. That's their numbers. I think that would be M in the Milwaukee brand. This is not a Milwaukee brand. It is a Bizway brand. Bizway, you did a good job. So in this video, you got two tests in the Max's Garage Mahal video that gives Bizway two thumbs up. So y'all come back and see me now here at Max's Garage Mahal.